On today's episode, a one-on-one sit-down interview at the world-famous Irish pub right here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, with Fraser. Yes, Kelsey Grammer was in town to promote his Faith American Brewing Company beer, ale, IPA, which is now available at the Irish pub in Atlantic City, Steel Pier, and Hard Rock Casino. For everything Faith American Brewing, visit faithamericanbrewingcompany.com. And now, here's Kelsey Grammer. How amazing is this? I get a couple seconds here with Kelsey Grammer. Now, wait a minute. Everybody knows his name. And yes, he received awards for the small screen, the big screen, and no screen. We call that the stage. He's done all that. But we're here to talk about a product that he's producing in upstate New York, Faith American Brewing, Faith American Ale and IPA. And Kelsey, you have a winner here. Just a reminder, visit faithamericanbrewingcompany.com for information and locations. How did you get involved in the beer industry? Wow. Uh, the beer industry found us basically because of the land I have in upstate New York. It was uh, something I bought about 30 years ago. Probably a little less, but you know, it rounds off to 30 pretty easily. And uh, I used to vacation up there when I was a kid in Kingston, just outside of Kingston. And uh, it was one of my grandfather's favorite places and became one of mine. And So when I actually had a little bit of money... I looked in the back of a magazine and said, that place up there near Kingston that's 40 minutes from, uh, from the freeway and it's, it's in a complete, you know, like a, a landmark, depressed county in New York, uh, I'm going to go buy it. <laughs> do you eat cauliflower? I do. Uh, yes, I eat cauliflower. Yes, it was, a, it was a huge cauliflower farm back in the 70s. Uh, a very big one, and 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 a successful dairy farm as well. But the dairy, the dairy farm pretty much went away in 70, 96, I think, and that was it. And I think out of about a hundred dairy farms in Delaware County, there's only about three left. So it's been a, a shrinking industry. So what I wanted to do is I acquired this piece of land with a big barn on it, where you know Bessie and whatever her name would be were you know being milked all the time. And I thought I can't, I'm not going to be that kind of guy. So beer actually became the option because I wanted to help the property be something again, help to you know be productive and and uh, and and have sort of prosperity uh, around it because it used to. And so I thought that would that was our destiny to be together, and and it was going to be about the land. So all the beers are basically pictures of the land, um, inspired by things that have happened on the land. And, uh, and the history of the local area, which is uh, part of the Calico Man IPA, is, is inspired by what they used to call the anti-rent war, which a guy was killed in 1845. And they used to dress as the Calico Indians, they called themselves. But they wore Calico, which was imported from India. So there's a strange kind of irony about an IPA, India Pale Ale, um, and the fact that these guys wore Calico. And so my Calico Man beer is, a, is an homage to them. Kelsey Grammer is creating jobs in America and creating a fascinating brew. I've tasted it. I love what you're doing up there because I feel that this beer is appealing to a wider range of Americans because it's less hoppy. Did you plan that? Yeah, I'm not. My, I'm not a big hop fan. I mean, I mean yes, I'm a fan of it, but it's like. We have a, a nice hop finish on, on, the, on the ale, the Faith American Ale. There's a little bit of a finish on that. The IPA is, is, is more hop forward, but it's not to the point where you can't drink it. I'm, uh, I revolt against things that start to taste like kerosene to me. And I'm, I'm, not good with the, I'm not good with the stuff that's like, I dare you to drink this. <laughs> it's like, I can try, but one sip and I'm done. Uh, it's, it's beer that tastes like beer. I always want, I want all my beers to taste like beer. We've got a hazy IPA. We've got a West Coast IPA, and we've got an ale. And we're going to add a couple more flavors in time, probably a lager, probably a stout, things like that. But every one of them will be distinguishable by the fact that you can drink it. And, it, and it doesn't, it's not a challenge to drink it. And, uh, we, yeah, we've got, we'll probably go up and down with the ABV stuff and maybe even go a little bit uh, less content on alcohol for maybe one release or, 
or do a light beer, you know, a light ale maybe, um, because uh, there is some appeal to the idea that there, there's not a lot of booze in it. But uh, most people who have a beer want to have a little bit of a, you know, a little relaxation, let's say. <laughs> Barbecue and a, and a nice beer, a nice cold beer. And one thing that distinguishes the beer as well is that when I was in England, when I first started to drink ale and stuff like that, they, they'd pull those big, long poles out of those barrels that are stuck down in the, in the, open, the, the bottom of the floor. And uh, I thought, this stuff is awful. <laughs> and, and it's warm and I thought and I thought dear god how, how can they even drink this but so I deliberately tried to engineer the first beer which is the ale to be good warm and so what happens is when it opens up when it opens up a little bit it actually tastes pretty good a little warmer I mean I prefer froze you know I prefer it really cold but it can sit there for a while. You can have another swig and think, hey, this has some, some notes that I didn't notice before. It's, so I'm, I'm very proud of it. I have to ask you, I love the name Faith American Brewing Company. How'd you come up with that? Well, my daughter's name is Faith. That was one of the components. But the other obvious connection is I've loved America my whole life. I was raised by people who loved America. <laughs> And uh, I just want the country to be okay. And so the beer is in honor of the dream of making America wonderful. And, and the idea that we will prevail and the country is going to be fine. Kelsey Grammer, I love you. Thank you. I think the world of you, and I got to tell you something, you've got a great product. And one more thing, Atlantic City is a very special place. And you've adopted it as kind of a second home or third home am i right you're here quite a bit yeah we are now especially um we've got this great roll out of the beer at, at the hard rock right now and kathy's got it here at the irish pub and so we're very happy for the relationships we're developing in atlantic city but atlantic city was also the highlight of my life as a little boy my grandfather used to plan conventions here with chevron oil um he worked in perth amboy and we would come every every Easter, basically, and walk the boardwalk. And my grandmother used to love to tell the story of when I was walking along with her along the boardwalk. I had my little blue blazer on and my flannel gray pants and my, my penny loafers. And I stuck my hands in my pocket and I said, Gam, I love Atlantic City. It doesn't get any better than that. You have to check it out. Faith American Brewing. Faith American Brewing Company. Dot com. Faith American IPA, Faith American Ale. It's available at Hard Rock, Steel Pier, here at the Irish Pub in Atlantic City. Go to the website, which is faithamericanbrewingcompany.com. Yeah. Kelsey Grammer, this was great. I loved spending a few minutes with you here. Likewise. Thanks. Thanks so much. We taped this interview May 14th, 2022. You can find Faith American Brewing Products at the Irish Pub, St. James and the Boardwalk, Atlantic City, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Atlantic City, and Steel Pier here in Atlantic City.